Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the second tutorial on the uh, Golden Goose Kelp. It's all about saving. So now that we've got you going in the right direction and really juicing up your income, blowing up your income to a high five figure, six figure uh, income with the uh, Dream Machine Kelp, this is all about the Golden Goose Kelp. So like we did in the last tutorial, I want you to go to my Instagram page. I'm going there as we speak. I'm gonna take you on a digital field trip. Hit the link tree like you did. When you hit the link tree, you should see a drop down that says all behind the chair millionaire calcs. And I'm looking for the golden goose. You go four down, you can hit the goose and there you have it. Now, the idea is that as you start growing into your income to earmark a part or all of that raise, depending on how motivated you are to begin saving money and putting it away long term. So you can see on this first item, my first line here, it says starting with a lump sum savings. And basically what that could be is your first year. So if you're if you're putting away $200 a month, $300 a month, 400, whatever that is, have that lump sum in your first year. So let's just go back to our example yesterday that my friend that I was uh, mentoring that was shooting for a $70,000 W-2, and she decided that she wanted to put 15% of that money away into some sort of long-term uh, 401k uh, uh, IRA savings. And so when you really do the math on that, that's about $10,000. Or you could, you know, that's about a $10,000 for the year. So you can say my lump sum is 10,000. Go ahead and you can hit it. I'm it's just like you, you I'm, I'm bringing my calculator on that first line to $10,000. And as we bring it to 10,000, uh, we know that that's our basis. Some of you already have money in the savings that you can go ahead and put that right into the golden goose. Now it's okay, now that I've got a, a nice basis, what am I going to put away a month to begin to add to that? I, my, my goose now is growing, I wanna continue to put more money feeding the goose to make the goose bigger. So I'm gonna put in there the same as what she did. She said, okay, I'm. it's gonna to come to about $800 a month. That, that if you really do the math on 70,000, which was she was going for, 15% of that is about 10,000 a year, 800, $900 a month it comes to. So let's just say that her, her goal is to do $800 a month. Now. If this is too high for you, don't shut me down. Don't turn me off. What is? Get started getting started where you can put um, a, a number in there, a, a savings goal per month, just like you had your uh, income goal. You, you started it for the year, you broke it down, the calculator broke it down to the month, the week, and the day. So you can see I, I've got $800 a month. Now, on that next line, it says, so where are you putting it? And what is going to be the interest rate that you're going to be enjoying? Now, this is where it gets a little bit, it can get dicey. If you put that money into a simple savings, it's, you know, 1%, 2%. I love you too much to not encourage you. Don't do that. Sit down with a financial planner. Put it away long term. This is you're building the goose long, long term. This is what's going to be one of the uh, assets, if you will, that's going to get you to being a behind the chair millionaire. So it's long term and, and long term has to do with uh, IRA. It could be some of you are fortunate enough to work in salons that have a 401k plan. And when you really look at where that money is going through your financial planner, we now know that the average return, annual return, or you could say average interest rate is running at about eight and a half, nine percent. Now, a lot of people don't understand that because they don't see long term. Some years are going to be higher. Some years are going to be lower, but there's an average over time. So this is not, it's really not rocket science. You can, you can ask your financial planner and they're going to say, yep, he's pretty much on. It's about eight and a half, nine percent if you're going long term. So go ahead and put that into your app. I would put um, 
put the, let's just put the difference, 8.5%. 8, 8 now, you can see that now the calculator does it all. You can see that in five years, you're going to have approximately just over $75,000 put away. And you can see on that fifth year, if you touch the bar, you can see exactly how much of that is money that you put in, 58000 and you have $17,249 of, of uh, interest that has grown on it, that, that, that to me, those are the golden eggs. <laughs> the goose is what you put in, but the golden eggs are, are what counts. Now, just for kicks and giggles, if you go back to the years and let's just double it, let's go, okay, you're gonna leave it alone, you're gonna stay consistent, you're gonna stay persistent, you're gonna stay persevering for five more years. So go, you can see it's in 10 years, and in 10 years, oh my goodness, it more than doubled. It's now at 170, just under $175,000. No, but wait, there's more. Go ahead and hit that last bar and it'll tell you, you uh, 106,000 is money that you put in over 10 years, but you've got almost $70,000 are golden eggs. So now the golden eggs, the interest, the growth is beginning to catch up to what you're putting in. That's your money that's saying thank you for working hard for me. I'm going to start working hard for you. And no, wait, there's more. There's much, much more. I want you to go back to the year and just increase it to 15 years. It more than doubled. It's at $327,106. And if you hit that very last bar, you can see, oh, wow. Now the interest is, is bigger than the money you put in. The money you put in collectively is about 154,000. You've got $173,000, actually 173,106 in interest. Now the golden eggs are bigger than the goose. I mean, isn't this kind of cool? So you can continue to go back to the, um, the years i'll put in 20 years you've got over a half a million dollars in there now and that last bar will tell you that um, you've got uh over 357,000 of it is golden eggs and 200,000 is interest so you can continue to play with it now once you have this and you understand this calculator if what happens to other people happens to you you're going to say wow this is not only uh, less difficult and easier than I thought. But now that I understand this, I really want to continue to grow my income and put more money away because I can see now what's in it for me. I'm no longer uh, doing this on hope that this is gonna work. I understand it. I really trust the process. I'm gonna turn up the juice on it so that I wanna get to a seven figure savings account, saving, savings plan sooner rather than later. So I'll do a couple more follow-ups on just this goose, but I wanted you to get to it to really understand how saving a little bit of money consistently, persistently, per perseveringly over time, a little bit goes a long, long way. Well, Michael, I don't understand how the math works on all of this stuff. And I, I, I'm, I'm just a, and say, don't get analysis paralysis. You just start saving money now. I've, I've helped thousands of people do this and i'll say at first did you understand this no i didn't really understand it fully but just started saving money when did you start understanding and they all say the same thing well i started saving money and i had it actually deducted from my paycheck so i even forgot about it i, I just had it automatically put in and i just forgot about it and all of a sudden you know Two, three years later, I went, oh, wow, I, I, I wonder how much I have. And they look at that, that, that total because you get a report every year and it blows the sides off of their brain box. They're going, are you kidding? I, I knew I would have some, I didn't know I would have this much. And all of a sudden they see how much, I call it free money or how much money they were making in their sleep. And they didn't have to pay taxes on any of it because it's tax deferred and they go, okay, now I get this. I'm gonna start doing this uh, because I know it works. Now, the other part of this that I want you to get is the, once you start building your goose, 
you're going to want to keep it. I don't want to say a secret, but it's private. Like we said on the last tutorial, be discreet because you're now, you're changing your mindset and your attitude, not only about how much money you make, how much money you keep, what you're doing with it, you're growing your wealth. That is opposite of how many of you used to think. And just bear in mind that you may still have friendships and relationships and family members are kind of sort of at where you were. If, if, they, if it becomes apparent to them that you have money, it's going to cause some awkward moments. So what I've done is I've, I've took some uh, little comments that people have uh, kind of put in as I taught them there. And this one, it says that uh, first of all, don't uh, don't wait until you understand the start. We, we talked about that in the last tutorial. And then the other one was, don't kill your goose. Don't take money out of your account because you'll compromise your future. So some of you will, oh, I'm gonna take some money out and I'm gonna loan it to someone because they promised to pay it back. I, many people don't. I, I, my rule of thumb is I, I never loan more money to anyone than I can afford to flush down the toilet because people have the best of intentions, but they get to a place I can't pay you back and it looks like you're rich enough that you can take the hit. So, and it just can get real, real sticky. So th that's what she was saying. Or uh, you, you all of a sudden you need money. Your car breaks down, you're, you know, somebody, you know, you, it, you, it's your turn to go into the barrel and it's like, I need money, I need money. Find another way of getting the money you need. Don't invade the goose. Don't reach up into the goose and pull out golden eggs. You'll kill the goose. But I've, I've, I've coached many people over the years and coached 10 people on the kelp. And in, in 20 years, two of the 10 people have a big goose. The other eight people, the goose is smaller than it should have been because they took money out or the goose, they don't have no goose. They killed the goose because they couldn't manage their spending in a way to figure out if you need money, we can, we can always go back to the dream machine, figure where you're gonna need money to pay off a loan or whatever so that you're not invading that. What is the other one they said that always trust the process and this is all very simple, but it's not easy. Let me say it again. It's simple, but it's not easy to do. And what makes it not easy is you have to manage your impulses to start taking that money as you start growing it. Because you'll say, I need it, I need it, I need it. Of course, you, need, you don't need it, you need money. Leave it alone and figure out how to make more money if you need more make more, but don't kill the goose. It's interesting because somebody said 70%, according to Google, of well-to-do families lose their wealth by the second generation and 90% by the third. Many people inherit wealth and by the second generation and certainly by the third, that wealth is all spent because they're not managing the money in the way that we're teaching you. So this went a long way for you. I hope that this, that this tutorial will help you. The, the combination between using the dream machine and the goose calc is a one plus one is 10. It'll really make the dynamite go boom. So we'll see you uh, in the, uh, the next tutorial. Now, if you like this, make sure that you subscribe to more on my YouTube channel because there's more good to come. You, you watch these videos, this is what's going to uh, make you rich and terribly happy.